All right, guys, we got here the Pinarello Dogma F, weighing at 7.24 kilos. That is with pedals, with cages, and a new Durace 12 speed semi wireless, and then pounds. Keep it steady. 16 pounds, one ounces. That's with these heavy pedals on there. Thank you guys so much. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. Today, I have for you guys this brand new 2022 Pinarello Dogma F frame with the brand new Durace 12 speed. Uh, I think this is gonna be one of the first bikes in the States with the Durace 12 speed on it. I uh, just got in here at Bike Science. I believe it's sold already. There's a customer looking at it, so I'm pretty sure it's sold, but the bike is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna go over all the features on the bike, kind of show off the Durace as well. But the Pinarello Dogma F, this is the black color. You can even see the speckles in the frame of the black, kind of like that. It just makes it look luxurious, man. I mean, this is one of the first ones I actually got to see in person. I've seen some stores get in for like a demo, but this is the first one I saw with the Durace 12 speed on there amazing looking bike so without further ado i'll go over the whole bike and uh break down the components i want to talk about the durace as well uh this won't be a full in-depth review on it because i want to get my hands on it and talk about it more but it looks really cool uh so starting off with the cockpit it is their most full-on carbon one-piece bar and stem combo by pinarello so carbon fiber bar carbon fiber stem we have on here the most bar tape as well going to the shifters on here this is the new durace 12 speed shifters these are wireless for this year the brake engagement right now, very smooth, very little resistance as well. Um, it didn't have, they, they don't feel like they have the wall like they used to on the Durace 11 speed. Uh, this just kind of feels very flush. And then the shifting on here, a little bit difference for the uh, side panels as well, uh, but it looks very clean. I, I really like the look of this stuff. The shifter hoods look a little bit more ergonomic. It looks like they tilted them in more to kind of match the natural position of the wrist, but very clean looking. Going to the frame, we have the gloss black right here, again, with those kind of rainbow speckles in there. The Pinarello logo, and then the matte black carbon as well. The Pinarello Dogma F, I believe, is the 1100 carbon? I don't know. I think, I think I believe it's the, the T1100 carbon, which is the top tier carbon they make, but absolutely gorgeous. Going down to the fork, again, the matte carbon weave, and it fades into a gloss black. We have on here the DT Swiss uh, wheels with the, I believe these are the 240, uh, ES, the 240S blind wheels on here are the hubs. Uh, and then we have on here the Pinarello, I'm sorry, the Pirelli 25 P0 race tires on here. These are the new revision Durace rotors as well, the 160 uh, millimeter with the center lock on here, and then the revision calipers as well. They made these a little bit wider to reduce disc brake rub. The rotors are actually newer as well. Uh, better heat dissipation and it's going to make it to a point where it's not going to rub as much So with these calipers you can see they don't look like the old ones. They made these a little bit wider to reduce the rubbing as well I mean, they're, they're making the strives to make it much more better and you can see even as well Very smooth in the brake actuation. Very very nice Here's the top shot of the black For their Pinarello logo. You can see the, the, the attention the detail on here. It looks crazy good So on the Pinarello Dogma F a little bit more bulge in the down tube. You have the most carbon fiber cages on here as well. Uh, we have the Durace crank on the non-drive side. We have the threaded Italian bottom bracket. And then another subtle difference as well from the F to the F12. The F is more attached to the bike, whereas the F12 had a little bit more of a piece and then it broke away to the arms. Looks much more fluent though. Very nice looking. Cranks on here is gonna be the new Durace 9200, uh, 5034 chain rings. Subtle differences to the chain rings, but it looks just a little bit more bulky on the crank arm and then the teeth are in that gloss black as well but you can see the attention to detail the attention to quality um i know that you guys always say that i kind of hype stuff up and i get excited about it but i get to touch the stuff i get to play with it in real life this is my job i get excited to see this stuff because i know i'm gonna have my hands on with it so part of my hype on it but i love the look of this stuff and i'm excited to see what the future comes i want to actually get my own group set in i want to build it i want to i want to be able to to mess around with it so i'm excited the new revision to the Durace front rail, the subtle things, the, the all black now instead of it being silver, it looks much better and much cleaner. Not as bulkier as well for that front rail as well. Really good looking. So on the shifters, wireless. In here now there is a battery and then there's a wire to the front rail and the rear rail. And now the battery is actually, well I just told for the Pinarello Dogma F is that there's actually a, a battery port right there. Yeah, right there, perfect. That you actually, open that up and you're able to drop out the battery now so much more efficient to get access to the battery instead of actually having to remove your seat post remove the seat height mess around with that maybe drop your seat post in there or drop the wedge so it doesn't become more of a pain in the butt we have our wedge adjustment for the seat post saddle adjustment height right here 
We have on here a most carbon fiber saddle with carbon fiber rails and carbon fiber body. Uh, going to the back, we have a 12 speed Shimano Durace chain, the new 12 speed Shimano Durace cassette with an 1130 on there. Uh, it, this is a 12 speed cassette, but it can still work with 11 speed hub. They did make a new 12 speed Shimano hub as well. Uh, but they just say that with the 12 speed hub and the 12 speed cassette, that's gonna be a little bit better engagement. It's gonna turn a little bit quicker, but the best thing is that the 12 speed hub can be backwards compatible with the 11 speed wheel. So good news is Shimano, not really making uh, waves in the industry, which is great. Uh, the rear derailleur, small revisions again, a little bit longer cage, subtle differences, but it looks really clean, really sleek. Black where it needs to be. The cable guided right here. They have this little cable guided clamp that looks really good. Again, small things that maybe consumers might think, might not really care about, but for mechanics, for bike shop owners, for bike shop enthusiasts, that type of stuff goes a long way and you'll notice a lot better. Also right here, we have on here the LED indicator for charging ports. And you also charge the whole DI2 system now from the rear right here. This pops open. It's the same charger for your power meter crank as well for the Durys. This is where you'll plug this into if you need to charge the whole system. So you don't have to go to a handlebar or to a junction box or flip it over. It's much more easier, much more accessible, and it makes it better for the consumers as well. Same wheels on the rear, DT Swiss rear wheel uh, with these Spline 240S hubs in there. Well, I've been told, I don't know too much about the hubs, but I'm told that they're a little bit better than the regular 240 uh, stock hubs. Again, for the rear wheel, we have on here the 140 millimeter rear rotor, the new uh, Durace rotor. You can see they do look like the XTR rotors. They made these revisions for the reason of they're, I believe they're 20 grams lighter and then they dissipate heat a little bit quicker as well. And then the revised uh, flat mount Durace brake caliper as well. Again, cool little subtle differences. I'm all for making it wider for the brake clearance in the back. You don't feel like you're missing any kind of pull for the brake as well. Um, they're making strides to make it a little bit better for the consumer. Less disc brake rub is better for everyone. So huge thing with that. You will hear a free body sound test on these wheels as well uh, in the future. So just give me a, a little bit and we'll get to that. But man, this bike is absolutely beautiful. So that's gonna do it for this video guys. To wrap it up, this is the 2022 Pinarello Dogma F with the brand new 2022 Shimano Durace 12 speed DI2 on here. I believe this is the first one in the States with this kind of group set on here. It's at Bike Science. I believe it's sold, but if you want to get in contact with them, email me or call Bike Science or in uh, Pompano Beach. These bikes are gorgeous, man. First one to see, I can't wait to get my hands on it. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and thank you guys so much. Bye. Also guys, before the free up body sound test, I just noticed this. On the drive side, Pinarello logo, really big on the down tube. Dogma on the top tube, really small. Go non-drive side, Dogma, non-drive side, really big. Pinarello, very small. And then you have the F logo right there. Good looking bike, thank you guys. All right guys, this is the DT Swiss Pro 1400 Spline, rear wheel free body sound test with the new Durace 12 speed cassette. All right, here we go. Alright guys, thank you guys again so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. You want me to remove the paper?